Moving to question number 9, let x be the set consisting of first 2018 terms of a p 1, 6, 11 and so on, y be the set consisting of first 2018 terms of another a p 9, 16, 23 and so on. Then the number of elements in the set x union y is. So, two a p's are given, first we have to find another a p which is formed by taking common terms of two different a p's. So, let us start this question. First a p is 1, 6, 11 and so on, we have to go till 2018th term. So, let us take it on rough that what is the 2018th term, this would be 1 plus 2017 into 5 as the common difference. So, this gives us 1 double 0 8 6. Next AP that is 9, 16, 23 and so on. Let us talk about its 2018th term, this would be 9 plus 2017 multiplied with 7 as the common difference this time is 7. So, this comes 1, 4, 1, this gives me 119 plus 9 that is 128, so 1, 4, 1, 2, 8 as the 2018th term, right. Now, the first common term we observe here will be 16 as the next term to this one will be 16, then 21 and so on. So, the first common term we are getting common terms as 16. Next would be the common difference of first AP is 5, that of second is 7. So, the common difference of this obtained AP will be LCM of these two numbers 5 and 7 which is 35. So, then the next term comes out 51, then 86 and so on. We have to find the last common term, so that we can think about the number of terms which are common. The lesser of the two is 10086, so we can start like, let us say nth term of this a p it should be less than equal to. So, simplifying this gives me n equals 288. Now, the question is about number of terms in x union y. So, number of terms in x union y will be equal to the simple formula n x plus n y minus n x intersection y that is 2018 plus 2018 minus 288. Just simplify to get the answer as 3748. So, these are the number of terms which are common to it. Let us move to the next question. Okay, taking up question number 10, the number of real solutions of the equation, one trigonometric equation is given, which is of the form sin inverse a equals pi by 2 minus cos inverse b. Sin inverse a plus cos inverse b equals pi by 2, meaning a equals b. So, simple question based on the concept a equals b. Let us start this one. We have to equate x to the power i plus 1, where i is from 1 to infinity minus x summation i equals 1 to infinity x by 2 to the power i. This is equal to the term after cos inverse, which is summation over minus x by 2 to the power i minus x by 2 to the power i minus summation minus x to the power i, where i is from 1 to infinity in each case. So, simple infinite gps are given, we have to find the sum of the infinite gps, this gives us x square divided by 
1 minus x minus x multiplied by x by 2 divided by 1 minus x by 2. This is equal to the second term that is minus x by 2 divided by 1 plus x by 2 minus minus x divided by 1 plus x. Simplify this equation, this gives us we can see that x square is common from the left hand side and x is common from the right hand side meaning x equals 0 is one of the solutions. Rest one we can see here on taking LCM it gives us. So, after taking this one root common which is x equals 0, we can see the remaining equation converts in term of cubic which can be written as x cube plus 2 x square plus 5 x minus 2 is equal to 0. If we consider this one as f x then we can see the derivative of this one that is f dash x comes 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5 which is clearly positive meaning that it is strictly increasing. So, there exists exactly one root of this equation. Now, we can see that f 0 is minus 2 while f of half on substituting x equals half we can see this is 5 by 2 plus something minus 2 meaning it is positive. So, one root lies in the interval 0 to half other root is x equals 0. So, there exist two real roots of this one. Looking at the question part which says the number of real solutions of the equation lying in the interval minus half to half is. So, correct answer is 2. So, this is clear. Now, move to the next one that is question number 11.